Yeah, welcome to Reflector Hub TV. Get set to be fired up. Get set to be blessed. Get set to begin a new walk, a fresh walk with the Holy Spirit. As you listen to God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. He bless your life. Just get right in materials. Your pastor, he shared his story many times when he was with Pastor Esco and all the, the, the events that happened preparing for those moments you see there is nobody who comes out of nowhere let me tell you the truth all that talk is nonsense there is nobody just because you were not in the wilderness does not mean the person was not there while you are killing the lion and the bear nobody sees you there's no audience to clap for you but the all-seeing eye of god who controls times you've got times and seasons in your hands You call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. Listen, very powerful song. So he controls times and seasons. Who told you that you must arrange your manifestation? Who told you you must arrange the seasons for your announcement? It is an unnecessary burden. In the economy of God, there is already room for your announcement. If you utilize that opportunity, respectfully speaking, let me tell you, and I say this with every sense of humility, I have seen pastors and I have seen leaders desiring to rise, desiring to find, especially in our day you know some of this celebrity thing everybody wants to be known and and to be honest you know it, it's in men people want to maximize their destinies but i see how people ignore their every day and keep anticipating for that one day and then the one day comes and they are not even aware that it is the one day because you were so busy um so busy getting you were distracted and did not prepare there are other people who will prepare see one day will not come one day will come and meet them while preparing joseph listen carefully joseph never knew that by the next day he would be prime minister every opportunity he had to be a blessing with his gift he did because you give a portion to seven and to eight you do not know you do not know which of them you are waiting until the day a rich man meets you then you are kind to him you will be surprised that the person who will announce you to the rich man is the poorest person around you and because you refuse to show compassion you recycle seasons again there are many people who do not show honor to all men they want only specific people and they believe that when you meet somebody who has means it will fast track and accelerate your rising there are people who will never get serious with god until the day you give them a sermon you say you are preaching on wednesday and all of a sudden there's concordance there's greek and hebrew lexicon are we together there's all kinds of this they they recharge their phone data for three days that is only a preparation to maintain your reputation not to bless because the day the opportunity will come unfortunately it may come inside a plane not on the pulpit the person who will announce you can be in a plane and god gives you an opportunity 50 minutes you are with that person and god says now is your moment the thing about kairos moments is that kairos moments are not necessarily location dependent you need to be prepared in season and out of season it can happen anywhere if they if you had asked um if you had asked david to suggest where god will announce him he would not say it was on the battleground you will probably choose somewhere else but simply faithfulness in carrying food was what announced the warrior they did not say that here is a competition if you can kill come and stand hallelujah i made up my mind that every opportunity god gives me listen ladies and gentlemen i do not i do not there is no such thing in my world as superior preparation and inferior preparation i take everything with destiny seriousness if you tell me i'm going to talk to two people you will see me preparing as if i'm going for a crusade 
why number one because i love jesus number two because i love the people but number three i understand that chronos is the unit of kairos every moment as i prepare i'm moving closer to that kairos moment hallelujah Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time I have discerned that there are opportune times, the time to favor her. Yea, the set time has come. Now write a few things so we'll find somewhere to pray. There are three things that you do to maximize time. Three things. And then we'll connect it with the theme for tonight. Three things. Number one, the first assignment you have as far as times and seasons are concerned is to master the art of discerning seasons. You need discernment. The Bible says, and of the sons of Issachar, men who had an understanding of the times, discern seasons you must know how to discern time how do you discern time the word of god is the instrument of discernment the word of god primarily is the instrument of discernment the word of god is the primary instrument for discernment number two study the nature of the dealings of the spirit with you and it can help you to point seasons you can there is a way god begins to deal with you suddenly god gives you an instruction you are going on 30 days prayer and fasting and tells you you are going to wake up every night even before pastor nath does his hallelujah challenge god tells you you will start your own one week before him there are events around your life that already become pointers if you can discern the bible says when jesus was born there was a star and those who were wise men the magi they could read the star and they came with precision they were not born again they were not led of the spirit they used secular wisdom using light they came right where jesus was hallelujah you can discern seasons what is happening in my life i noticed in the last one week everybody is giving me money everybody is, is telling me listen come and do this someone wanted to preach and he said i'm busy can you stand in for me god what are you saying what are you saying most believers do not have not trained their faculty of discernment so we do not know when we step into very defining moments there are people you know that ordinarily you should not meet lord why did you give me access to be among these great people what should i do now and we waste it we laugh around we eat and we leave only to find out that that door will not be open like that again if joseph came before pharaoh and said pharaoh i'm not here to interpret your dreams number one go and catch potiphar's wife you don't know what has happened to me let me tell you i'm here to defend myself you know what would have happened to him if he did not drop his offense and childishness and focus on the seasons he, he would have said now that i'm with you pharaoh even if i die let me die you know how people behave an innocent man has been in prison in x number of years plus the two years that were added as a result of the wickedness of the wine presser he refused to remember me and pharaoh's okay i've heard you we are really sorry about the house either ways he would not have succeeded but when he got there the ability to have prepared and once he got there pharaoh said this is my dream and he laughed he said pharaoh it's not about cows it's not about plants you have seen a mystery that connects you to the laws of seasons that there will always be seasons of plenty and of luck now let me recommend save 20 percent of this and that and pharaoh said now you are talking within that moment joseph rose and became prime minister no election no voting you would see joseph and say where did you come from let me tell you where he came from from the dreamer to the pit to his faithfulness in the house of potiphar 
to his getting to the prison even though he was innocent all of them were counting for that day every time you see a day of favor a day of favor is equal to many days of preparation a day of manifestation that was well utilized is a cumulative of many 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 great days i will never waste seasons in my life because in my mind every day counts every day counts i won't pray i won't say i'm too tired to pray today after all there is tomorrow remember the power of the day after tomorrow comes from the prayer of yesterday and today it's a cumulative we continue to abort seasons because we waste our every day you get up in the morning you sleep you know anytime you are not serious you are not at anything no project there is nothing that is running and driving your life the bible says to learn from jesus when jesus showed up there was nothing enough to distract him he had set his face like a flint about my father's business at age 12 even his parents came to look for him say why are you looking for me don't you go to the temple don't they read the scriptures did you not hear that i should be about my father's business that sense of urgency now is the acceptable time and that is true but you see your now is a cumulative of everything you have done with your chronos when god announces you it is because he has given you an opportunity to prepare and if that season comes ladies and gentlemen and you are not prepared you know what happens seasons will recycle again truly you will find out that a realm you should have entered a door that should have opened for you there are people who sit down and keep regretting and shouting and saying listen i've not been promoted i've not been lifted this is unfair in this church by now by my status i should be a pastor by now i should be an apostle by now i should be a prophet in fact it's just because of condition i should be rich by now all those explanations do not count every day you do this to the list of the brethren you come to church you are sweeping it's counting are we together yeah how you use your time for ruth to be the wife of boaz she didn't just appear one day and say listen are you going to marry me or not or you are going to waste prophet Rana? and said everything you do in that field we're coming there tomorrow because we're going to be talking about the global harvest hallelujah yes it is a kairos moment among the many things the greatest time in human history right now for the global harvest but you need to draw a lesson from the life of ruth because naomi told her he said when you get to the field don't be distracted there is something within the field that is for you when you go there be cautious everything you do will count and when she went there she gleaned with honor and respect and the elders and the people there was boaz there and he saw her he said who is this that is diligent and faithful he said do not hurt her allow her to take as much and she went back to ruth she maximized every day until she stepped into the lineage of jesus john utilized every day until he got to a point where he started wasting his chronos through offense through bitterness and one time he said go and tell jesus are you the messiah or should we expect another jesus said something has happened to you offense has come into you and he died as a birthday gift a prophet who prophesied the bible says of all the prophets isaiah jeremiah mighty men none was like john and look how his life ended the birthday gift for a girl dancing before the king they went to remove his head The word of God is truth. The word of God is life. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is awesome. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for listening to God's word. I believe you have been mightily blessed by this video from God's servant. I would like you to click on the notification bell 
so as to receive every of our updates from our content and posts online. Uh, like it, don't, don't forget to also subscribe to the Lector Hub channel and also share with your loved ones as God will also bless you through that. Thank you and God bless you.